The Comfort Zone Deluxe Heater. It's a metal cabinet. It's very good. I'm going to put a link underneath the video, so look down there in the description where I got this at and where you can get them at. They're all metal. They have a blower fan, see on the side, and you're going to like this. So let's cut to it, and I'm going to open this thing up. It is supposed to be a, I believe, a 1,250 by 1,500 watt. Um, it does have a tilt switch, so it's pretty safe to operate. And I wanted to use this my rentals while I was working on painting inside, uh, latex paint, you know, standard paint. So I picked this up. I live off grid, so I don't really need one of these. But if you don't live off grid, this is a very safe design because it is a metal heater. I mean, it's entirely metal. Uh, let me pull it out. All right, now out of the box. Now, these come with a pair of legs, and the legs are plastic. The rest of the whole heater, except for this decal and a plastic handle and plastic switches, is all metal. So it's, it's probably about the safest thing you can get nowadays. Everything seems to be made in plastic. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a kilowatt meter and we're going to see exactly what it draws and what the voltage level for that is. All right, so now for installing the legs, you're just going to tilt it back. And don't worry, it's metal. You're not going to really hurt it. And the legs kind of snap into these grooves right here in the bottom of it, just like that. So let's go ahead and flip it over. And um, I ordered these on Amazon. They're not that expensive and you can get them delivered free. So pop it on. And then you're going to have a screw hole that'll line up for a screw, and that keeps the legs from coming off. They provide two screws with it. Okay, and so what we do is we just take and we put that one screw in that comes with the heater, as you see in that little package, and the other side, same thing. You'll see these clips have a slight bit of a, like a little hook in them that's designed to go into the slot that's right here on both of these and it'll line up once you put it in there it'll snap and line up and the hole you can put the screw in it all right so now both legs are on single screw put in them to keep them from unlocking and you'll notice this heater has a stopper that keeps you from putting this up against a wall and that is where the intake fan is because these have a fan in them and that's a very nice feature for a radiant style heater to have the fan in them. So what we're gonna do is make sure our switches are off. Put it on low. My voltage is at 119.9, pretty damn close to 120 volt. And we're going to plug it in. And now we will power it on. So you'll get to see what it does. draws down the voltage a little bit now I am on an inverter I am on an inverter here at this house where I'm at at my shop pardon the big mess tool batteries and stuff everywhere so you'll see there's a little bit of sag in the voltage that's common for an inverter and the wattage that it's pulling right now is 100 or 1111 watts so, and that's on the 1250 setting. These are not always exactly accurate. So let's turn that up so it stays on. But that's a nice little heater and you can't hardly hear it. Can you hear that? It's very quiet. I love that about it. And I'm gonna use this heater. I have four of them to help dry a house out after painting it. I have uh, rentals that I take care of. So over here, you'll see the uh, 1124, 1122 pretty much about a, uh, under 1150 even though it ranks it that way so voltage is my inverters are pretty stable so it's stabilized at 117 that's that big inverter and Hertz is 59.9 so not too bad this is a, a very large uh, inverter that I have back there a 3000 watt mean well so now I'm at 9.68 amps and voltage and this so what this means is this is 1.152 kilowatts what that 
what that means is that if you're paying 15 cents a kilowatt, every hour you run this, it'll cost you about 16 and a half cents. Okay, so that gives you that idea. Now we're going to go ahead and switch it to 1500 and take a look at it gaining. And like I said, these heaters are never, I mean, they are made in China. So you're looking at that, and then you're looking at the amp draw on it. It's 11.84. And wattage will be, looks like, right around 1,400 running watts. So that would be 1.4 kilowatts. So if you're going to run it 10 hours, then you're going to burn 14 kilowatts. So 14 kilowatts times, say, 15 cents. That's what you're looking at as far as cost. It's a very nice, soft, warm. It's very quiet and, like I said, metal body. If you tip it, it has a switch that shuts it off. Turn it back up. It's a mercury switch, so it's very dependable. This is the comfort zone. I'll put you a link, and it has an over temp. It has a very accurate thermostat. For turning it on and off it's very quiet fan forced right there on the side a little small uh, 100 millimeter fan and beautiful heater affordable to operate too for being electric all right guys and look ain't gonna get my fingers in it see all right all right get you one man they work great for job sites things like that i don't need one because i have a big oil furnace in my shop but I had to have this for a job site. Can't carry that old furnace with me.